hello welcome to DK Lab. today we are going to talk again about pfsense it's a follow-up video after the one we did installation and today we're going to talk about how to create a vlan and how to do basic firewall rules so without any further ado let's get into it um one thing i would like to do is go to general setup and change my theme to dark mode so that is applied so from there we need to get to interfaces assignments and as you can see I've created quite a number of VLANs from 7, 9 all the way to wireless let me remove wireless then we, I can show you how to create one and to create a VLAN you need to go to VLANs tab and uh, I'll also delete this one uh, to, then you you click on add VLAN then you're gonna give it uh, you're gonna select the parent interface always it's on LAN and the VLAN tag for example mine would be 100 and the tag I always give it based on my third, third octet of the IP address I'm going to assign to the VLAN and for the description this will be VLAN 100 let's save so now once we have the VLAN created we have to go and assign it to the interfaces now when you come here under the available network ports if you click there you're gonna find your new created VLAN select it and add so here it is but now it has a name opt whatever number will be next so if you click on it first thing is the interface is not enabled so you need to enable the interface and you can change the name and give it the name you want for your VLAN so mine will be wireless I can also call it VLAN 100 but in this case I like to be descriptive as much as I can on here so that when someone comes you can just know what VLAN they're working on so once you enable give a description then, then you select a static IP for that VLAN and down here you will give it a an IP address so for me it's a 100 is the VLAN name so I'm using the that doctor to, to determine my VLAN ID so dot one it is a slash 24 and that's all you save so once this VLAN is set the next step we normally need to go and do is go to services and enable DHCP server for this VLAN so if you go to DHCP you should find the wireless VLAN listed there then once you have the VLAN um, listed and click on it you will find that the DHCP is not enabled so the first thing is enable the DHCP server for the, v, for the VLAN then the second part we're going to do is the address pool we need to give a range of IP addresses that this uh, DHCP server will be giving to our devices so for this one I uh, will give it uh, to start at 100 and we're gonna tell it to end at 150 so it will have 50 addresses to give to this VLAN or any device that connects to this VLAN and uh, unless we have our DNS server like custom DNS server as we're going to do in the uh, upcoming series of videos we're going to create a, this, uh, a DNS server that is the only time we need to change this or if we have any other DNS server we're using but for now the router that is the pfsense will be the dns for all my networks that's why we leave it as it is so it will be using a dot one which is the gateway for this vlan as the dns and that's all for now so we set down always make sure to apply changes otherwise they will not be affected so now we are done with vlans and that's all you need to do to all of your VLANs that you want to have on your network that's what I did to all of this so now since we're done with this we need to go to firewall rules 
and I have two machines connected to VLAN 7 and VLAN 9 so I'll be majorly working on these VLANs and as of now when you when you create a VLAN for example the way we did uh, the wireless it comes without any rules that means all devices on that VLAN can connect to themselves but they cannot connect to internet or to any other VLAN so we have to give rules to tell uh, the VLAN where to or which network to connect to or to connect to the internet and uh, as I've told you I'm going to work on these two VLANs so let me pull those two machines so this one is uh, the one on the VLAN 9 and the IP address is dot hundred let's see this one we got this one which has a uh, an IP address of dot seven one oh one if we go back here remember VLAN 7 has no rules but VLAN 9 has one rule that says any device which is source any device on VLAN 9 can connect using any port can connect to any destination any port so meaning VLAN 9 can connect to all networks to internet everything so it's open but VLAN 9 is default deny only do the access within the VLAN so as you can see here I will try to ping so on this VLAN 9 I will ping the 101 Let me copy this IP address here. Um, so as you can see, from dot nine, I can ping the the machine on VLAN seven. But if I ping the other machine from here, you will see I cannot ping. Let me stop this one. So what's happening? and I will stop also this one because I don't have any rule from this side I cannot access anything as well if I do ping www.google.com I can't ping anything but if I pick the same command and bring it over to this machine this has all, everything open so I can access the internet So what do we do on VLAN 9 for example we want to create a rule that allows VLAN 7 to connect to VLAN 9 and uh, the action would be pass interface is correct on VLAN 7 and protocol is TCP but I will put any and I want to connect from VLAN 7 another thing to note is if I put VLAN 7 address I mean dot one the one we put IP address for this uh, VLAN so for me to allow every device on this VLAN then I need to select uh, VLAN 7 subnet and I need to connect to VLAN 9 again not address but VLAN 9 subnet and we can uh, always give a description to your rules so that you may know what it does. So this is uh, allow. I call it allow VLAN seven to VLAN nine. We can save that. And now with that rule, if we come here and try to ping dot nine. We should be able to ping. Let's see. Ah, uh, um, I did not apply. So remember, I told you always apply the changes, and that will be the reason. Yep. Immediately I did apply. So now I'm able to connect to VLAN nine. But again, I still don't have uh, internet on this.
So what I will do for me to have internet, I can keep these, uh, what do you call it? I can keep these and allow internet using, uh, we're gonna create again pass VLAN 7. And now the source is again VLAN 7 uh, subnet. Let me put any. But now destination, we can pick uh, VLAN 7 address. So we can put uh, destination to remain any and uh, protocol any yeah now in what much so yeah but now these again opens everything so that means we don't need the rule above so we can remove the first rule and now apply changes and now what this does, it opens us to everything similar to what we have uh, on VLAN 9. So for us to restrict access to other VLANs, then we need to add a rule that blocks. So we need to reject interface is VLAN 7 and now we need to do source it's VLAN 7 subnet and destination is for this test we're gonna put uh, VLAN 9 we're going to save and apply changes now from this VLAN ping 9.100 it's going through and that is because we are allowing everything so the rules are being read top down so it's allow then block so we move this rule up there and save so it's now apply so now it's block then allow and now these will block it should not pass let's see VLAN 100 still passing so let me check the rule again so let's try a different thing I'll go to aliases and create uh, a new alias and I will call this one uh, VLANs and I'll not give a description but I'll give it as network and I'll put the IP 172.16.1 Nine double zero so twenty four and save apply and now go to firewall rules VLAN seven. And I'm going to disable this rule and edit this one. So instead of allowing any, I'm going to put alias and pick the villain. There we go. Then I'm going to invert much. So I will allow everything else except what is in the villains and apply changes. That way, if we ping the 100, 
should refuse so that's working let's do ping google and see there we go so what this rule does it allows everything else except whatever is on VLAN, which is VLAN 9 if we want to put a home network to not allow VLAN 7 to access then we're gonna add it on this alias yep and that's all about VLANs allowing and blocking so um the other thing I'm going to talk about is how am I passing these VLANs to my switch and I have a switch here let me log into this switch Admin. so have a switch if you have a switch that has a uh, protocol 802.1q then that means it's a manageable VLAN you can pass uh, a manageable switch you can pass VLANs so in my case to configure this switch which is a TP link TLSG 10.8e when you come on this page you type in your VLAN for example 10 and it has three uh, columns so any 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 port you want to carry all traffic should be tagged any port you want to access specific VLAN has to be untagged for example port 5 and 6 are able to access VLAN 10 but port 1 and 2 carries everything so it has data from all VLANs it's a trunk port this one is an access port so it is accessing VLAN 10 and 10 only so if we put 20 put 3 and 4 are only able to access 20 and 20 only put 1 and 2 are trunk ports and you have to tag them on each VLAN so anytime you create a new VLAN for example if we do VLAN 30 we have to tag them and that means they're able to carry even VLAN 30 with them then you're gonna untag the port you want to access and then finally for this switch you have to go to 802 PVID setting and here is where you set uh, the port exactly what we learn to access so like 30 I can say I want port I want port 6 to access VLAN 30 so just select 6 apply but for me I want that to access 10 so do 10 port 6 and then apply and that's all about VLANs and firewall rules thank you for watching if you have not subscribed please subscribe share like and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.